What's up guys and welcome to Herald. This is a new game on Steam releasing today and it is a really fantastic one that's just best explained if we head into the game. Okay then, so Harold isn't about playing as Harold. You actually play as Harold's guardian angel. So basically you're Harold's wingman. <laughs> See what I did there? Basically you are making Harold jump and run faster and all that kind of stuff and making him die apparently, but you're also manipulating the environment by making things move and fall like this platform. I can move it left and right so that Harold has a nice platform to run on. And I can also use this to my advantage by making other racers fall. So it's a really cool mechanic, and it's really, really awesome and really competitive. And I'm about to show off something really cool here. A shortcut. <laughs> and this is just so awesome, because the game has a lot of really awesome animated bits with a lot of humor, and it's really super high quality. And there we go. And it seems like that boosted us up to fourth place. Now, if you see on the top left, we have these little lightning bolts. That is called our puff power. And basically, while collecting these um, little halos that you see, not only that, by but by um, making all the other racers sort of fall over and get hurt, that will also give us puff power. Basically, we can use that to <laughs> lightning bolt Harold here and encourage him to run faster. Quote, unquote, encourage. <laughs> More like encouraging him not to get his butt burned. But yeah, there's a lot of cool little movements here. The music is amazing. Just how this game works is really, really awesome. Awesome, but oh no! <laughs> Looks like somebody cut our rope there. But that's okay though, because we still got second and it's still really cool. So there you go, that was actually the very first race of Harold. Now there's actually quite a few races. What I really like is it doesn't go to Jungle 2 and then Jungle 3. It goes to Jungle 1 and then Desert 1 and then Arctic 1 and then Beach 1 and then back to Jungle 2. So I really like that because it gives things a fresher perspective. You're not staying in the same environment over and over again and getting really bored. But this game definitely has a lot of challenge to it and a lot of in-depth mechanics. So let's head into Arctic 1, a slightly more difficult level to show that on. Oh, Harold. <laughs> Something hilarious happens to Harold at the beginning of every race, and it's it's so worth seeing everything in this game. And you can see that we actually broke that icicle, and it made it so that that guy fell over. Oh no, Ooh. <laughs> we end up falling there. And if we end up dying when we don't have any puff power, Harold will die, and we will have to restart the race. So we have to be careful. We have to be very, like, paying attention to how much puff power we have, manage it correctly, and try to make as little mistakes as possible. Now, oh, there we go, we fall there. Now we have no puff power, we're gonna be super duper careful. But this game is, is all about trial and error and memorization. If you can memorize the level to a T and just completely perfectly get it packed down, then you will actually be able to beat it every single time. Not that, like, the, the racers race the same way each and every time. With that being said, it is sort of a limited amount of replayability. Not in a negative way, because there is some really good challenges and there's really worth going through and trying to get every little thing. But if that's not up your alley, then this might just not be the game for you. Because really, if I could remember every single little move in the game, I'll win every time guaranteed, if I'm able to execute it correctly. Like there, I know that if I moved correctly, I could have gotten on the top of there, rolled down here, and done a whole bunch of awesome jumps, and actually would have been able to get a, a much faster shortcut. And <laughs> because of that, I can just keep on using that to my advantage. Oh, what's, oh, but it can be really hard. It definitely takes trying over and over again to really get used to it, but it's so much fun. It's like, even when I'm replaying it over and over again, I'm still having a really good time. And that mixed in with how good the music is and how it really feels like a playable Disney movie is just so stinking awesome. All right, here we go. Now we're up here and hopefully we'll be able to ride this area pretty well. It's a little more difficult, but much, much more faster. And you can actually press, oh no, oh, we weren't able to do it. But this sort of gets me to show off that we can actually press the um, sort of the select button. I'm not sure what button this is supposed to be on the Xbox controller to do a very quick restart. That is super duper helpful. It is way faster than pressing start and then going to retry. 
because you're going to be using that a lot. If you mess up on the first jump, you don't want to sit here and do the rest of the race. You want to be able to restart nice and fast like that. But when it comes to the art style, this game is where it really, really shines. It's one of the nicest games I've seen. And just how the animation works and how fluid it is is just so impressive. Because these are 3D models, but they don't look anything like it in a sense, like they do, but they don't at the same time. It's just, this game is impressive on so many different levels, and it's just, it's a wonder to watch, it's a wonder to play, and this is definitely one of my favorite games of 2015 so far, and ugh, I'm playing pretty badly. But you guys still get the idea. It's a rush, it's a race, and it's really stinking fun, with a really fun and child-friendly story. You know, we've seen a little bit of it there at the beginning with, um, we didn't see too much story there with Harold being <laughs> messed up a bit, but there's actually some story with the Guardian Angels themselves. But overall, Harold is a super duper awesome game and I can't stop playing it. And you guys should go check it out on the Steam link below in the description. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, feel free to give it a like and share with your friends and family and comment in the comment section below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.